Okay, welcome to the Don and Ryan family kitchen. So today we are going to show you how to make zero chicken. This is one of the most famous dishes that we used to have at our restaurant back in the 90s. Um, this is what my dad is really famous for amongst the circle. And we used to make this on Friday, Saturday, Sundays and it used to be an absolute sellout. It's definitely one of the top three dishes, perhaps the number one dish that comes out of this house. But until today, it has always been made by my dad, who at this particular moment in time is in India, couldn't make it due to COVID, but what we can say to you right now is that I've got the zero chicken over here. I'm gonna do the tasting, and then we're gonna show you how to make this. So I'm really, really excited. Let's see how it's done. So we use chicken wings to make this, and it's covered in black pepper and cumin seeds, which is the, the zero, or the jira, as people call it. It's in the right hand. Wow! Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. First, I am going to put in uh, sunflower oil, which is, we've put half a cup, but you can also put one a cup if you want. This is our personal preference. So there you go. So here are some cumin seeds. We put four teaspoons of it. Now, you will notice that it's been partially grinded. We haven't grinded it completely. Uh, there's a method to cooking this. So I am putting in four teaspoons of cumin seeds. Four tablespoons of black pepper. Also, same thing as the cumin seeds. Uh, these have been partially grinded, not completely grinded. So there's a method to this, as I mentioned. That goes in. Now I'm gonna give it a stir. So in the blender, I've put in two medium tomatoes. They've been chopped up. I've also put in three green chilies. Now we're gonna grind this. Before that, I'm gonna put in one tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste. And I'm going to put in three tablespoons of yogurt. There you go. Now I'm gonna grind this together. So time to grind this. Okay, so I'm gonna put this paste into the pot. Ooh, that's lovely. So I'm gonna put in half teaspoon of uh, red chili powder, one of my favorite uh, things to put in. So I've used Kashmiri chili powder. Not very hot, but it gives a wonderful color to this. It's also about presentation. Also gonna put in one teaspoon of coriander powder. I love this as well. Oh man, it's smelling lovely. Already I know that inshallah, we are onto a winner with this because of the smell itself. So currently we're cooking this on low fire, but you have to continually stir this. Keep stirring this, keep stirring this because you want to ensure that it doesn't stick, it doesn't you know, form lumps or anything like that. You want to keep it flowing as much as possible. So keep stirring it, keep stirring it. Um, let it heat up a bit as well. Okay, so we're going to let this cook for five minutes. I'm going to continually stir this on low fire and then we'll be back with the next steps. Okay, so look at the change over here. It's become really thick. Um, the color's completely changed and you kind of know that this has been cooked when you can see the oil um, surrounding which is the center of this um, this paste. So I feel quite confident. I think we can move on to the next step now. Okay, so I've got one kilo of chicken wings and I'm gonna just place that in now. It's time. So just put this um, evenly into, you know, not just in one place. Half teaspoon of um, sea salt, pink salt actually. So now what I'm gonna do is um, at medium fire, I'm gonna first mix it up. Okay, let me just mix it up first. And then I'm gonna put this on medium fire for it to cook. Just need to make sure that the paste is um, covering all of it. Okay, so that'll be the best course of action for what we wanna do. And uh, I'm quite excited actually because it's the first time, there's a lot of first times with regards to cooking, but this is a special dish. 
that only my dad makes. So, so once upon a time when we had a restaurant, a family restaurant, this was a super hit. This is actually a secret, secret recipe. It's never really been disclosed anywhere. It's because my dad was like, okay, I'm just gonna keep it um, as esoteric as possible. But I was like, you know what? We are very serious with this channel. And I was like, we're building a community over here and you guys deserve the best of recipes. You know, we, we have always said that we are gonna share with you 10 out of 10 recipes. This is the best recipe, or at least the top three recipes that we can ever share with you possibly. So, um, I'm quite excited with how this turns out. Okay, so you can see that it's boiling. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the temperature medium to low now. And I'm gonna cover it up for 10 minutes, let it cook on its own and uh, wait for the next step there you go okay so i'm gonna open this up let's have a look look that looks lovely it's bubbling up okay that's great now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add in half a teaspoon i'm gonna add in one teaspoon of mint sauce oh that smells lovely one teaspoon of mint sauce i've got some dried methi here and i'm gonna place that in it's gone in uh, half a lemon so let me just squeeze that in as much as possible do that tightly we get both of these so it's half a lemon okay lemon juice essential for this now what I'm going to do is um, place some coriander on top for some presentation I'm going to leave some for later on garnishing so you can see that coriander has gone in there a bit more and then now I'm going to just give it a stir Okay, so we've got to get a meti um, stirred in there. The, the sauce has come out nice. Okay, that's wonderful. So the meti's um, mixed in quite well. So would have the mint sauce. So would have the um, lemon juice that we put in there. Okay, so so we're done now. So um, now it's time to just put it into the plate. You don't want it too dry, so you don't want to cook it too much that it dries up um, it's nice to have that paste on it that's the main um, appeal of this dish if you get that wrong then it won't come out as we intend for it to come out for not just ourselves but for you guys out there as well so just ensure that you remember this that you don't cook it too much that it dries up keep the sauce there so it's ready pretty much and yeah we move on to the next step so considering that this is the first time I'm making it it's very very identical to the way that my, my dad makes it uh, we're close to it uh, it depends, maybe one day we'll sit down and we'll compare it whether it's better or not um, but it's definitely very similar to how he makes it so I'm really really happy with it, my family's very happy with it so with that said, that means that you guys should have the confidence to go ahead and make it yourself remember this is a dish that isn't something that you find everywhere you'll find chicken karai, you'll find lamb karai, you'll find all of these sort of karai dishes butter chicken, these are popular but this is something very different. This isn't something that I know um, of restaurants or other people do making this or doing this. And there's also, the other thing is that anyone who knows about this, they don't really know how to make it this way. This is a dish that my father stumbled upon. So that's why I want you guys to really try this out. I want a lot of people to try this out and let us know how you found um, trying this out because this is very, very different. You are not gonna find a dish like this so our confidence is in you trying this recipe the way that we've shown it to you and we know that you can actually make it if you um, follow this video step by step like the video comment below also share our content to as many people as possible let other people know about the content that we are bringing out we are trying to build a community and also subscribe to our channel and we will catch you in the next one